Welcome back to another video. I'm your tech guide, Wayne. And the video today, I'm gonna to be showing you what to do if you forget your lock screen password on your Samsung device, or if you find an old phone and it has a password on it and you forgot what that password is. Basically, I'm gonna introduce a software, a very reliable software that you'll be able to use to bypass this lock screen, this pin screen here, so you can get into the phone. Now, um, the software will allow you to bypass uh, without losing data for certain models, um, usually older models, but newer models, um, it will remove the lock screen, but unfortunately it will erase all the data off of the phone. So just keep that in mind. Um, certain models will be supported where you'll be able to fully get past the lock screen without data loss, and some you will lose the data on the phone. Uh, so now I'll be using a software called Tenorshare for You Key for Android. Um, and this is a really straightforward software. Uh, it does two things really well. It's gonna allow you to, again, bypass that lock screen so that uh, you can remove that password or it will allow you to bypass a phone if it has a Google lock on it. So this software, uh, you'll just plug in your phone, it's gonna read it and then it's gonna show you the steps on how to bypass the lock screen or that Google lock. And again, some cases you won't lose data, and in other cases you will, it just depends on the model of the phone. And all that is listed on the website. So, here's what we'll need to do. I'm gonna jump back to the phone here. And first I'm going to plug in a USB cable um, to the phone at the bottom here. And then I'm gonna plug in the other end to my computer. And um, if you just give it a minute, it will read it on the computer and then I'll need to open up the actual software, which I have down here. Okay, let's go to our home screen. So this is the main screen of the app or of the uh, application. And so I'll be going to this first option, which is remove screen lock. Click on that. And here I have two options, remove screen lock, and that's for most Android devices. And then the second option here is remove screen lock without data loss. Now I just wanna show you quickly, if you click on it, you can click on start, and then you can select the model of phone that you have and it will tell you if that is a device that is supported that they can bypass without uh, losing the data. So here I'm gonna go, I have a Samsung phone. Disclaimer, it will only allow you to bypass for Samsung phones um, without the data loss. So just keep that in mind. So Samsung, and these are all the models that it supports. So starting with Galaxy Note 3, all the way up to the Galaxy S6 Edge, and some of the tablets here it supports as well. So uh, unfortunately, if it's not a Samsung device, you cannot go the route of uh, bypassing the data. Um, if it is uh, another brand of phone and it's not one of those models, you'll have to uh, erase all the data in the process of removing the lock on the uh, main screen. Okay, so we're gonna go back to this screen, which is a main screen, and I'm gonna click on remove screen lock. And then I'm gonna hit start. And it's reminding us, hey, if you move forward with this process, uh, when it removes that screen password, it will erase the data on the device. It is saying, do you want to proceed? We're going to hit yes. So now it's reading the phone that we've plugged in so that it can give us the appropriate instructions. And here we are, we have our instruction list. And so let's um, start all the way on the left here. So the first thing we we'll need to do, and I'll have the instructions um, on the screen on, on the right side, and I'll have the phone on the left so you can actually watch me following the instructions. So the first thing we'll need to do is a long press on the um, power and volume down button at the same time, and you're gonna hold it until the screen goes off. So it's not off yet. Okay, once it goes dark, it's off. Now hold power and volume up until you see the Samsung logo. There we go. Once you see the Samsung logo, you let go of the buttons. And we'll give it a second. 
Okay, so now we are in the menu and I wanna point out something important here, which is that uh, some of the instructions um, include a few extra steps that you have to kind of look over. So for example, in the second step, it's saying that you would need to uh, hold down on the power button. Now this particular Samsung that I'm using here, I'm doing it on a Samsung AO3S, it doesn't have a power button. So don't let that shake you. You're just gonna hold power and volume up and the instructions still work just fine. So just keep that in mind. Um, if you have a home button, great. If you don't, just hold the other buttons that you do have. And um, you'll notice here also on the screen, uh, instructions number four, this never came up. It just took us right to step five, which is giving us the menu with our different options. So um, the instructions might be slightly off, but um, you know, it's fine. Just read through what you're looking for. And in this case, we're trying to get to this screen, which will then have our options. And so step five says when the interface is shown, it means you successfully enter recovery mode. So guess what? We're in recovery mode now. We're gonna hit next. And then what we're looking for is the option that says wipe data factory reset. And we're gonna use the volume up and down buttons to maneuver through this menu. So I'm just gonna go down all the way to wipe data factory reset just like it says on the screen i'm going to then use my power button to select that option so let's press it and then volume down to get to factory data reset power again and it's going to happen super fast so there it is we're done now we're going to move on to step two um, which is going to be so on this one it says to restart the device and then move to the next step, but technically you don't need to do that. You can just go to our next option, which is wipe cache partition, which is what you'll see in step three. And I'm gonna um, hit the power button to select, volume down to go to yes, hit power again, okay. And now we'll move to step four, which is rebooting the system. And it's already on reboot right now, so I'm just gonna hit our power button to select it. And now it's going to restart the phone. And if we hit next on our instructions, guess what? That's it, we're done. That's all we had to do. So I'm gonna um, take the software off of the screen for a minute here. Now at this point, the phone is restarting itself and that restart can take about 10 minutes. Now, uh, when I did the full process, um, the phone was actually stuck on the Metro by T-Mobile screen for quite a while, at least five minutes. Um, but you'll know it's finished when you get to this screen, which is showing you the Android loading screen. And that's telling you that you're at the end of the process. And after that's done, guess what? It's going to take you to this screen, which is going to be your um, starting screen. That's going to show you, hey, now you can begin setting up the phone like new and adding all your accounts back. So. That's it, um, the software was successful. And now let's jump over to the website so you can see the breakdown of how much it costs to use the software and you can figure out which plan is the best one for you. This isn't a free software, there is a fee, but it's really inexpensive. Um, it can be as low as $30 um, and you buy the software, you plug in your phone and it's gonna then allow you to get the instructions in order to bypass that lock screen. So um, I hope you guys found this video helpful. Hit that like button if it was uh, helpful. Um, make sure you uh, favorite and share the video and we will catch you in the next one. Take care and as always, have a good one.